hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is water kitchen in today's video we are going to prepare chicken and fish stew this stew is very delicious you can enjoy with anything that you have on the side so if you want to learn how i made this delicious stew please stay tuned and let's get started so now i am going to use my onion and bell pepper so i have four each so i am going to wash them very well and i am going to cut them into pieces so basically i am cleaning all my vegetables it's in the studio a bay did you so make sure you clean your vegetables very well and cut them into pieces so i will show you what i am going to do with these vegetables in the meat so as you can see guys, I started with two onions. So I, I'm cutting just one right now. You will see in a minute. So make sure you cut all your vegetables. And this is the last one, as I said earlier. So I'm going to use two onions to start. Remember we are using four. So next I am going to clean my fish. You can use any fish of your choice, but I am going to use red snapper. So make sure you clean your fish really well so now you can turn your stove on and we are going to pre-cook the vegetables okay so i am going to add the, the bell peppers onion fresh tomatoes so the tomatoes i'm going to use four medium tomatoes right here and i'm going to add some carrots yeah mm -hmm. and then the carrots and we can see you know Oh, the carrots come from a mania de a mania shum so so manu abu moon is where they eat too so make sure you add your carrots and then we are going to cover and then leave it on to steam so with this i just add a little bit of water because we're just gonna let it steam so back to the fish i am going to cut it into three different parts you can cut it anyhow you wanted it if you want to use um tilapia you can feel free and use tilapia or if you want to use whitening you can use whitening as well but with this recipe you're going to use snapper so after the fish is cut we are going to blend our spice this is what we are going to use to season the fish and then our chicken yeah so I have one large onion and some diced garlic and ginger and I'm going to add natural herbs, include oregano, rosemary, and bruce. So as you, you can see right now on the screen, I have the measurements on it for you guys. And next, I'm going to add a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, it's gonna come in the minutes. So that way it will help me blend everything well and fast. That is my opinion. I think I always do this and it works out for me. So go ahead and blend everything. So now our spice is done. So we are going to go ahead and check the vegetable. Remember that we put the vegetable on the stove. So you have to see how it's doing so far. So as you can see, it is cooked. The tomato is very soft and the carrot and everything. So this is perfect. Okay, so now we, you can just take it out from the stove and then leave it on to sit. And don't forget to uh, strain the water. Okay yeah so next our chicken is nicely washed so i'm going to add some salt to season my chicken and then i'm going to add half of my asanka but before i am going to add the seasoning first so i'm using all-purpose seasoning you can use any season that you have okay it doesn't have to be the same one i'm using just feel free and use whatever you have in the pantry and I have a jewelry and with a jewelry you can get some from African markets also because they sell it everywhere so like I said I'm going to divide this spice into two the one that I just blended with my asanka and I'm going to use half to season my fish so that is what I am doing so please make sure you season your, your chicken very well so it tastes really good And of course, I'm adding a little bit of salt just to, you know, for the taste that I want. Feel free and add your salt. 
So next, we are going to steam our chicken. So I'm going to add all my chicken and I will add just a little bit of water. I would say probably a half cup, about two ounces, just to, you know, clean my asanka and then add it and steam it. Since you already added our spice and everything, so you don't have to add anything else. Just cover it and leave it on to steam for 10 minutes. So now our fish is ready it is nicely clean i am going to add my salt for the taste you know and i'm going to add the rest of my grounded ginger garlic and onion okay so this way it will steam the fish nicely and then leave it out you know to rest for about five to seven minutes you know before you fried it and then mr fish you wait right now my brenda is ready so i'm going to crush that vegetable so i'm not really going to blend it into like a puree consistency i just want to crush it you know like a medium blend so that way it won't be too watery when i made the sauce so i will show you guys in a minute so you get the idea what i'm trying to say yeah so when you look at it it is crushed you know it's not really blend so right now i'm going to cut one onion so with this one we're going to blend it and use it to make the sauce so like i told you earlier we're going to do this in a traditional way like you know at the shanty we do you know grand stuff a lot we do grand stuff a lot so that way i think it tastes really nice and you you can tell the difference when you use the blender and the asanka so right now I have one uh, large onion cut. I am going to add my ginger and I'm going to add my garlic and I am going to add habanero pepper. So this one is very, very spicy. So you have to be very, very careful. If you don't like spicy, don't add too much. Okay. And now we are going to check our chicken and see how it's been so far. So it's been 10 minutes and you can tell that the aloma coming from this stew no or the chicken steam no is very nice ankasa because i'm if you have a two irish man kasa oh grand we know it was a sanka style now the yes to now a sham because i come on so 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 now it is ready so i am going to continue uh to grind or blend my asanka you know me me kone me jenene me ginger no that is what i am blending right now so it is ready and now it is time for us to fry our chicken so now i am going to remove them from this stock and guys please don't throw this stock away okay this chicken stock right there is full of flavor it like it's gonna make your you know your stew taste really good a bit thick you will still look up a different level of crap so don't throw it away okay so right now i have my pot on the stove because i'm making a lot of sauce so i'm going to be using my soup pot okay so i'm going to add coconut oil but if you don't like coconut oil you can add any oil of your choice but coconut oil can take high heat and i really really like it and these days i'm, I'm being hooked to it so right now we're going to keep adding and fry our chicken since our oil is nicely hot so yeah go ahead and fry the chicken so until the chicken is nicely brown that is how you will know that it is done so right now the last one is done so we're going to fry the fish so our fish will be next and guys please make sure you fry your fish and it's really cooked because the smell of fish is very strong so if you don't cook it really well <laughs> It, it has too much smell and sometimes I can't even stand it. So that's why I added a lot of spices on it, you know. So right now our fish is done. We are going to cook or fry our onion. So I cut half onion. This is what I am going to use. Into All the flavor from the fish from the chicken is in this oil. So please so please guys don't throw this oil use the same oil okay so now i am going to add my blended paste from my asanka 
I said, I still miss it, still be the papa. He said, Be a drunk, sir. The way I see to me, be no, I will just let it sit for about five to seven minutes. So, for the tomato paste, I am going to use about 24 ounces, this is about 680 grams of tomato paste. That is what I am going to use. So, I'm going to pre cook the tomato paste right now. So, don't add any water, just let it cook for about five minutes. So guys, after 5 minutes, you can add your crushed vegetables, okay, like the one that I told you earlier, it is perfect, you know, it smells delicious. I wish to smell it, how this smells, you know, and this too is just amazing. So now I'm going to add my vegetable paste. Remember the one that we just crushed in the blender? This is the time to add it. And you can give it a little stir and then you can add your chicken stock. So this is my chicken stock. I told you guys that don't throw it away, just save it. And this is the time to add it. And give it a little stir, don't add water, just leave it the way it is. It is perfect, it's gonna cook really nice because you don't want your stew to be too watery, you know what I mean? So you can cover it and then gradually stir for 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, I am going to add the rest of my seasoning. So I have nutmeg on this side. I have my stash, salt, and then the curry powder that I got from Ghana. This curry powder, guys, you can get it from any African store. I think these days they sell it there. So it is easy to find. So after you add your curry powder, you can just give it a little stir. Numuna abumuna day. And shit, and it's a woman we are now. What they say to turn it to come So, guys, please cover your sauce and then let it steam for extra 15 minutes. Okay, so after that, you can open it and stir one more time and then add your chicken. So, I'm not gonna add the whole chicken because my husband like it fried, he likes to eat. The fried chicken and then the fish as the way it is so i'm going to divide it into two and add half of it okay that is what i am going to do because me i like my chicken to be dipped into the sauce you know you know what i mean <laughs> that is how i like it so after you add your chicken you can just stir it one more time and leave it on in a low heat and have it steamer for another five minutes and then guys, your stew will be done. You see, if you have a soup, you never need to refill them, so it will be a dish your man. Alright guys, so let me go on to steam for 5 minutes and we'll be back. So guys, after 5 minutes, our stew is done. And we are going to be eating with rice. So I hope you guys like this video. This is how I make my chicken stew. As you can tell, I am serving it with vegetables, avocado, and beans on the side so you can serve it with rice yam cocoa yam gari anything that you have plantain will go very well so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share like subscribe so i see you right here on my channel stay safe stay positive and have a blessed evening bye bye